Hello, in this video today, I would like to show you how to work with form in the Cyfinity CMS. Okay, so I will create a form so we will allow the user to enter some registration information. So after we submit the information from that form, so we will store the information in the Cyfinity. And when when you open the form in Cyfinity, you are able to see the content submitted by the user. And after that, you are able to use the feature for export all of the, uh, the, the submitted content from the user to an extra file. Okay, let's get started. Uh, this one is the dashboard for the Cyfinity CMS. And now you can see on the top header, we have the uh, administration. You Okay, so it should be a content. You click on the content and, and then you select the form under the type of content. Create a form. You will name it a registration form. Okay, and on the right hand, we have some with this item here. You are able to create add a form by drop and drop the with this from the the, the 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 right to the main content here. Take back. We will have name, email. Uh, and address and mobile phone name email address and mobile phone okay so now click on the edit button here to edit the uh, information of label of uh, text text box this one is the label name placeholder you click on the limitation here to set some validation rule for this text box field we have a lot of tie here for the uh, text box so now, now the lip, the, the select the text mark and you are able to edit the error message here. It will display when the when the user enters the value is greater than 50. Yeah, you can see after that it will change the label in name and the placeholder it enters the name here. Okay, do the same thing for other. Okay, and now you click on this edit name. You have an option it require field. So when you click on the require field checkbox here, that means you have to enter the value for name in order to submit the form. 
okay require and this one is the error message we will display in the text box if it is empty Okay, so after that, click on the Publish button in green to publish the form. You are able to enter the content below here, on the top, for example. You can enter it either. Please button. Okay, so now you can see here the registration form has been created, and you can see click on this view button to see the form. Okay, and now you are able to do some the style sheet for this form to make it look better. And in this video, I will wrap it by default. Okay, so now how to uh, how to make the form displaying on the web page and uh, for the user to do the registration. Okay, click on the page here. Go ahead to create a new page. I will name it Rare Vista and select. Let me open everything by default. Click on create button. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So I think we should should come back to a uh, submit by drop for now. And back to basis. And back to the form. I, I don't remember exactly when you click on create a new form which type of form you select because when you create a new form we, it have two options it in advance by default we will select the MPC only or the type or the second e web form only okay so I will talk to you how what if what is it okay back to the basis Register. Okay, so you can see in the widget on the right hand, we have some widget here in the content. It have the form. This one is form. Okay, so when you drop it into the content here and click a select a form, and you didn't see any form created in the system. Why? Because uh, and you will uh, because we have not created a new registration form in the system so why cannot see it here okay so because this uh, form is only designed for the web form viewing only and we have another option if the form is for MVC view okay so that means we have to select the MVC in order to to, to um, uh, pick up a registration the registration form created by the MVC. So go ahead to delete this one and drop and drop MVC form here. Click on select a form to select to pick up the form. Okay here. So after you select the exactly with this, so you are able to select the uh, to add the form into this pet as well. Okay, you are able to uh, do the uh, style sheet custom for this form. But in this video, I will leave it by default. 
Yes, so after you submit, you can enter some success message here. We let, we let the user know they have just submitted the form successfully. Okay. Yeah, you can see now the form has been deployed here. Publish button to publish the pet. Okay, so open this one to view it on the website. Yeah, so now you are able to do the registration form here by providing some information. For now, we have name and email is required field. So if you click on the register button here and let it by default, it will display a error message. Yeah, this field will require name. Same thing, email is required. You enter the wrong format. It will display the error. Click on the register button to submit the data. Yeah, you can see here we have succeed. Thank you for filling out form our form okay back to the the form in the back end you can see here we have one red point click on it to see yeah you can see here we have one red point from the chien.vsgmail.com and the phone number here and this one is the name and address is ABC here. Yeah. Okay. So now you can see here this information has been submitted by the username e tn.vsgmail.com. So now if I open it in another browser and uh, because for now I'll log in into the uh, Syfinity backend by using this account. So it will, it will automatically catch up the, uh, pick up the user here. And after that, it will display the content in the form. And now if I open another browser where I still not log in into the system and how, and see what happened. Yes, successfully back to the form. Refat. Yes, for now we have two, two red one, and we don't have the username in for here. It is blank. Okay, and now you are able to export the content. It is the Excel file format. Yeah, so it will display the information here in the Excel format. And now you are able, are able to use it uh, content in the Excel format. Excel format, so you are able to do the importing and something like that in another system. Okay, close this one. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to work with the form in the Syfinity CMS. 
you know how to create uh, some um, control, uh, some field on the form. And after that, you know how to do the, the customization for name, email, phone address, and enter some placeholder in the text field and make the field is required a mandatory field. And if the user enters the wrong invalid, invalid information, so it will, it will display the validation message. Okay, so after the user submit, the, after the user fill out the valid information into the form and click on the submit button, it will send out the information into the Cyfinity CMS. And when you log in into the system, Cyfinity system with the administrator account, and you are able to see the how many how many response from the user in the Cyfinity CMS. And you click on this, you can see the detail of the submitted information from the user. Uh, and after that, you are able to export all of the response from user into a Excel file. And meaning you are able to use that uh, Excel file data. And uh, for the purpose, for example, you are able to import the information from the Excel file into some other system or something like that. Okay, so hope that helped and feel free to let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and see you later in another video.